Hello. Come in. Sit down. I think we need to. Uh, I think we need to talk. First things first. I just want to get this across. Um, just so there's no grey area or or questions afterwards. I uh, just want you to understand. It's not me. It's you. I mean, we've been together now for years and years. We've we played so many games together. Uh, sometimes in groups. Oftentimes I've shared you with my friends, and I appreciate the fact that you were so willing to do this. It was fun. At first, you only had two slots. Then you came with four, and then eventually you became wireless, which was such a great help. But recently you've just become a money grabbing whore. Time wasting slag. See, we've both changed over the years. I've lost my hair, gained a few pounds. You've become bigger. Taking longer and longer and longer to load, install, update. You see, I long for the games where I used to just be able to turn you on and fun happened. But now I get a game and I put them in you and I have to wait for it to install. I, I then have to wait for a 4 gig update. And then I get the game on and I find out that I haven't got the game I expected because I've been watching trailers for a game. And those trailers were just advertising DLC. The game that I am playing is broken. Beyond any other game I've played before. It's like every game you give me nowadays is Superman 64 for the first two weeks. So you need to understand it's not me, it's you. I have a Japanese girlfriend that I see from now, now and then, time to time. She's cool. She's good, I don't spend a lot of time with her. But she's good. I can get a game, put it in her, and I can play. And the games, most part, aren't broken. majority of them don't need a download to actually install to make the game work I have very very few major clipping issues I have ridiculously few problems with the games not working at all in fact I can't remember a game that she actually produced which didn't work when it came out her games aren't sold purely on DLC and I know she hasn't got a back catalogue and I know her graphics aren't as fucking beautiful as you big fat bastards. But, but she's honest. And I like that. So she's okay. And I can play her with friends. I can share her with friends. And it doesn't cost me. You become so much about money and less about fun that I don't know what you are anymore. You want to play music for me, you want to give me movies, and you want you you just try and give me apps and you're trying to give me this and you try and give me that. When I just want to put a fucking game on and play it without an update every time I turn it on. I shouldn't have to have you on, on standby. I just to download updates and updates and updates while I'm at work which will make it able for me to come home from work and turn you on you take too long to do very little a Japanese girlfriend she doesn't mind the fact that I hang around with PC girl PC girls brilliant she lets me delve into all manner of gaming pleasures. 
she doesn't mind me playing with her gigabytes. See, the PC world does everything that you do better. There's a lot of shit there, but I can siphon through that shit. But it's my option whether to siphon through that shit. People can mod games to make them better or more interesting. I can play Skyrim on the PC with naked people and horse dicks if I so choose. I can play Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Oculus Rift first person if I so choose. I can play Hotline Miami, Banner Saga, Papers Please, Rogue Legacy, all these great indie games on the PC first. For cheaper. Now, what you give me for free, don't think I don't appreciate it. But the consistency of goods that you give me is ridiculous. It's poor. It's shoddy. So understand when I say this. It's not me. It's you. It's not me that's changed. It's you that's made it hard work for me to do what I used to do on you. It's not me that's changed in the fact that I want my friends around so I can play games with them. It's you that have made it online. It's not me that's changed wanting the game to be in the console working day one. It's you that have shaped this silly industry which allows products to be so broken that no other industry will be allowed to do this. It's not me that's changed, it's you when console games of the past are worth hundreds of pounds where's your modern day classic? The Last of Us Witcher 3 I can play one of those on the PC better and with the potential of mods The Last of Us at some point we'll get a PC release but I've played this now it's gone as far as I'm concerned that is the last generation and the last generation was the last generation in which I fully enjoyed playing console games so I'm breaking up with your PlayStation 4 and Xbox One I've upset you've let me down as a lifelong gamer, practically everything you do is just an insult to me. When most of the games you give away for free, if I spent £50 on a Steam sale, I could buy considerably better games of higher quality and much more quantity of games via a steam sale or a good old game sale or any other play PC game selling forum I can even get games for free so is your subscription fee worth it? No. No. are the games that you give away worth it? no my playstation honey you did give me better indie experiences but your core game playing experiences can't even speak I'm getting emotional your core game playing experiences are leave a lot to be desired but when you get it right honey you get it right an Xbox I loved you I loved you.
So I think it's time for me to draw a line under it. Looking at all the games out coming out soon. I love Halo. And people are going to say Halo 5 isn't coming out on a PC. So if you get rid of your Xbox One, you're not going to be able to play it. Well, Microsoft have said that they're putting Windows 10 across the board. You're not thinking that they're going to use Halo 5 as a flagship game. Uh, if you buy it on the PC, you can have it on the Xbox One, the Xbox One PC, vice versa. That's going to be a flagship game. I can't even speak. You're making me so emotional. That's going to be a flagship game. I'm going to stick with my cutesy cutesy Nintendo. Because they make me look back to a good old time of gaming where I don't need updates every two seconds. And a game isn't sold solely on content that is going to come out six months after launch. You can pick Mario Kart 8 up and have a fantastic game without ever buying the download content. So, just so long as you understand, so long as no point in the history of future or past, I don't you ever doubting why I'm splitting up with you. You need to get this in your head right now for when you're talking to all the other boyfriends in the future who come along and pick one of your consoles up. It's not me. It's you.